Hey there, crafty friends. It's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and it is time for our What's New at the Doodlebug. So today, Tuesday, January 9th. Oh, I feel like I haven't been on here for a million years, which I know it hasn't been that long, but Saturday we had family Christmas, and I'm usually not on here on Saturdays anyway, but I guess I just haven't been in the store for a few days. And then Sunday's just my, that's my day off. Monday is my work from home day to get, you know, tax stuff or oh, the end of the year stuff right now. Holy cow. Um, working on all of that. And I also have a virtual trade show going on right now, too. So I've been trying to do my classes for that. And I'm really trying to do a better job of that this time. So I actually got a few classes done. And I have samples to show you guys in today's live. So today's live is full of lots of great vault items from things Hannah did not get done in the past, um, yeah, sadly, um, but then I also have stuff I did get done, because it's a new year, you always start over, I'm, I'm trying my best there, and then also the precision glue presses from My Sweet Petunia are back in stock, I'm sure you've been seeing other stores posting them as well, so excited, um, and that's why I'm coming on a little late because I've been working to get every single online order that we had a pre-order for packed up and in the going out tomorrow box. And I did just that. So I know there's a couple of you that you didn't know if you're going to pick up or ship and I've got to get yours packed up in the morning. Uh, but those should all go out tonight. And actually, if you place an order either online tonight or today with me right now um, we should be able to get that out before our mailman comes tomorrow as well because we're all caught up and I have extra left as well too and the weather looks good for the next few days so I would love if you're you know um, within three you know shipping days I would love to get yours out in the mail before it might get a little cold because there is glue in there so anyway I'm gonna flip the camera around now I know Leslie posted all of this stuff earlier today in pictures, or at least some of it. Um, I honestly didn't check which pictures that she posted. So some of these things I'm thinking, like, I, I think these may have been snagged already. But I'm going to show you stuff anyway, because it is super cute and super fun. So this first one is called Cutie Pie. And it is a great new um, kind of Valentine's Day line from American Crafts. And we've got Cherry Sweet crazy for you love bug i need to go up just a little bit so you can see the backs there we go um forever yours your cute oh that's it that is an adorable one sweetheart xoxo if you're just loving everything um I can look to see, stuck on you, if I can get a collection pack for you. They have it in a 6x8, so I'm sure they have a 12x12. 12 12. So again, if you just love everything you're seeing, let me know, and I will see if I can just get you a collection kit. True Love. Oh, I like the back on that one. Be Mine. Kiss Me. Me Plus You. And then here is that six by eight pad as well. Looks like there was even some tags in there. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, there's a little cut apart page. That's great. Yep, even some cute little tags on a little cut apart page in there. How stinking fun is that? We've also got Cutie Pie ink pads. You get four ink pads for $8.29. So that's a really decent price on those. Again, I think the enamel stickers um, got snagged, but like like always, I can order more. See how the little hearts have glitter, so if you're wanting the enamel stickers, let us know. We will just get you some on the reorder. Cutie Pie stamps. Dies. Those are, oh, those are cute little dies, too. I like the ticket. I love the little mini envelope. That cute little postage stamp. I love the price as well. That's a great price on that one. So Cutie Pie dies. Cutie Pie washing. Here is the ephemera. And look at that bead. You see his little wings shining. So there's also vellum stuff in here as well. And then we've also got journaling ephemera. Let me flip those over. Oh, yeah. So the journaling ephemera has all kinds of great tags in there. 
And then the regular ephemera is just basically like your, your die cuts and such. Uh, we've got the puffy stickers. Love this red alphabet as well, too. So I'm going to kind of hold it out so you can see you've also got numbers in there. But look how it's got white on there. So it may look like a little reflection, but that's built in to make it look like a reflection. Love that little, um, just that little detail there. I'm reading and I can't think. It's called Red Balloon Thickers. Those might just go up on regular wall because we do need another red. And I do like that alphabet. Uh, let's see here. Cutie Pie Regular Sticker Pack. Cutie Pie Thickers. They're kind of glossy and raised. Oh, I'm stuck on you. Uh, let's see here. This next one. I'm not for sure what paper line this goes with, but it is super cute. Um, be Valiant. Valent, be valent. Oh, Poppy and Pear. So be valent. That is the designer. So this is with Poppy and Pear. So we've got the Poppy and Pear sticker book. We've got the Poppy and Pear thickers. It's called Cutie. We've got the Poppy and Pear stamp set. Ephemera. Uh, let's call this the wood embellishments because I just call it embellishments, but just so we don't get it confused with something else. Clothes pins and look at these fun little rings as well. Those are cute. All right, this little guy here. Um, this was it was a class I did not do. We have it as a miscellaneous four bucks. Okay, you've got instructions. You've got all your bits and pieces in there. You will need to provide your own frame, though. So that is a steal at four bucks. You can thank Leslie for that. I let her price these, and I, she's a much more bargain pricer than what I am. There we go. So it's going to make that. You would need to provide, let's see what size trying to see what size. I mean, it makes a decent size little picture. I would think maybe like an eight by eight almost. So super cute Christmas frame there. Again, same thing. You're going to need black soot or villainous potion, it says, to complete the project. So you need some oxides on here just to do some inking. And you could use other inks as well, but that's what they recommended. And it's just a cute little treat box. Again, at the Leslie deal price of $3.99. If I can get this out. There we go. Super cute little treat boxes in there. Again, everything is pre-cut for you for that guy. Uh, let's see here. We've got just a fun little six by six stencil. Oh, Diane wants some balloon stickers. You got it. And some cutie pie stickers as well. Oh, you got a bunch of stuff. Perfect. We will get that pulled here in a minute. Uh, this one here. It doesn't have a name, but it is the TCW Star Stencils. Yep, not seeing the name. Um, Alt New. So the other, not the other day, I say the other day, it's been a couple weeks. Um, I found my Swamp Buttercup die, and I was just like, there's got to be something else that goes with this. I did. I found it. Here is the layering stencil that goes with it. So it makes this beautiful flower. And then you can cut it out as well. Stencil is 25 because you've got one, two, three, four, five layers in there. And then the die is 20. Absolutely beautiful. We've also got some alt new labels. These are called Love Add On. I'm here for you, thinking of you. Hey, lovely. What's up? Thanks and text me. Super cute. Those are 1029. Then we've got some more stencil butter going out. We've got it in black, lime green, chartreuse, and denim. I love the denim. If you have not seen stencil butter before, this stuff does spread beautifully. You can also paint with it too, but look at that. It's nice and creamy and smooth. 
good quality stencil butter from the crafters workshop. We've got a, just an archival ink pad going out. This is part of Wendy Vecchi's line. It's called Potting Soil. We've also got some little um, toolkits going out for diamond dots. These have a little um, stylus in them, a little tray in there too. You've got some wax and just a little um, finger saver. Those are $2.49. We've got this cute little light up from Pear Blossom Press. So that gives you a little light that you can make your cards interactive. That's $5.29. We've got this great hot foil plate and die set from Spellbinders. It's called Seahorse Floral. That is beautiful. I know some of you, um, you've got salt water in your veins. And so that would be totally perfect for you. And yes, if you're thinking, oh, I bet she means me, I do. I've got like three of you. You know who you are. Next one is just some great glimmer foil that would look good with this. Now, this is hot foil. This is not what's going to go through your mink, your toner foil. This needs to be heated. So this goes through your glimmer machine from Spellbinders. And this color is called Polished Brass. Another fun stencil. So this one is a 12 by 12. So it can be used for backgrounds on pages, but you can still use it on cards, slim lines, um, your, if you do like A7 cards, five by seven cards, it's gonna be great for that. So this one here is called, well, I wish they would put names on these. Oh, there we go. Nope, nope, that's not, that's their hashtag. Well, if you say 12 by 12 stencil, we're gonna know which one you meant. Here's another great one. And we have a lot of this open stock as well too. This one here is Snow Day. It's a great winter line from Photoplay. Snow Day there. And then a fun little Halloween line from Photoplay called Fright Night. I know it's a little off season, but remember these are from the vault. This is one that um, Hannah did not take home to make samples with, even though she was supposed to. Well, she took it home. She just didn't make samples with it. Next up is from the Crafters Workshop. This is one of those great layering ones for your cards. Um, these are really, really fun. This one creates this beautiful outdoors scene. Your finished card is an A2. So if I flip it over, you can see all the different layers back there. So if you're using paste, you're going to have to let each layer dry in between. But if you're doing inking, you would not have to do that. There we go. And that one is called Mountain Scene. A few things from Stampendous. This one here is called Hello Butterfly. Very pretty. This is their mirror stamp. So what you do with this is you stamp your image on here. Okay, and then you can flip it over and the ink, it's basically kind of like um, just stamping material. So then the ink is just going to sit on there. You can flip it over and now stamp it and you've created a mirror image. So if you only have one hummingbird, but you want them to be looking at each other, you would stamp your regular hummingbird on your card, then bring it again, stamp it on here. Take it where you want it and stamp it back on to your card. It's a really, really cool little tool to have in your stamping stash. I know Lawn Fawn has been making the flipped image for a lot of things, which is nice and it is convenient, but you can do that yourself with the mirror stamp that Stampendous has. Here's a great little sentiment one here from the Crafters Workshop. It is, it's got love you, missing you, thanks. Some beautiful flowers on there. And the item is TCW2202, and it's called Love You Flowers. Here's one for Spellbinders. Four petal sweet day flowers. That's got some great sentiments in too. You are so kind with sympathy, sent with love, having a sweet day, happy birthday, so happy for you. And there is a little sample with it as well. Love how that curves around. That's really pretty. So again, that is Four Petal Sweet Day. Um, online, STP-179. 
Just some fun little gems from Spellbinders. These are Spectrum AB, SCS 167. Just a really fun set. Um, more from Stampenda. So these are just quick card backgrounds. And they started doing these about a year ago. This one is called Joy of Spring. You've got four different fun sheets in here. Very collage looking. Um, and this one has all kinds of great spring colors to it. Then it kind of going along with that quick cards, they also have these quick cards, um, Hope of Spring sheets. So you've got two sets of each design. And they're just fun little cut aparts. So these were actually drawn by Fran. And then you can just cut them apart. You can take your, your die cuts if you've got some label die cuts and you don't want to fussy cut them or some circles, some ovals. You could cut them out as well that way. Or if you love to fussy cut, you can fussy cut them. So again, quick cards, hopes of spring. Here's an embossing folder from Sizzix. It's one of the 3D ones from Tim Holtz. This one is the wood grain. And then a great little Christmas set of thinlets. This is called Reindeer Sleigh. Moving on around the table. We've got some fun stuff here. These are mixed media slimline boards from the Crafters Workshop. So they're a little heavier weight. Um, so not necessarily a card front, but would be beautiful. It maybe that's a mini book cover or just creating art to sit about. Hero Arts, one of their looking glass dies. These are really fun. So you layer them all together and then you get this great little bird on a branch. Those are 1829. And then one of their beautiful uh, kind of framing dies. So this doesn't cut out all the way. It just cuts out part of the way. And then you can lift all those little pieces up. So, so pretty. This one is called um, Floral Border Fancy Die, DF014. Avery L. This is such a cute one here. It's the Bunny Tag, ST-23-02. How cute is he? 829. Here's another great one from Hero Arts. This one is called Everyday Sentiment Strips. Those are so great. Um, Pink and Main. This is, oh, that one's in there upside down, I think. Yep, it sure is. This one is the August Pup. So we've got the August Pup and then the August Pup die. Here's another great one from Hero Arts. Oh, super cute. That's called Pansy Fancy Die. That would look perfect with the Pansy Rub-Ons they just came out with. That's a really pretty die. So Pansy Fancy Die. And I should have sat these side by side. Here is the die set that you need to go with this stamp set. This is the Sentiment Strips Fancy Die. You can see how those line up perfectly. So you can stamp it and then you can cut it all out. Uh, next up from Hero Arts, this one is called Secret Garden Fancy Die. So you've got a couple different dies in there. So this one is gonna create a great window and frame. These, um, you can actually cut out and then they're individual. Super pretty. And then that way you can layer them kind of on top of these, use them on the inside. Just a really fun little raindrop embossing folder from Spellbinders. This one here is called Wonderful Day Bundle. You've got a stamp set, a die set, and we also have the stencil set as well. So you can do it as one complete, super pretty like that, okay, and it'll cut out a shadow, or you can use all these little innered ones. They stay connected together, and you can cut these all out individually. So this is a really, really fun set, um, and it's got a lot of longevity, lots of fun things that it can do. 
Next up is a tag topper from PhotoPlay. So you kind of create your own tag and then you just glue this fun little topper on top. So it saves you that whole pain for the metal for the whole die. You can create your tag as long or as short as you want and then just add this fun little topper on there. Some more transfers from Hero Arts. These are Petite Florals, RT106, or sorry, 102, RT102, and it was 629. Color Spark Sprays, or sorry, Color Sparks Watercolor Powders, not sprays, you can turn them into a spray. Um, but these are super fun from the Crafters Workshop and Ken Oliver. You've got olive green, yellow ochre, and burnt orange in there. So these are pigment and powders, and you can, tap them on, add water, um, and they kind of burst. Um, like I said, you can use them as a spray, make a spray with them. You can also watercolor with them as well. So all kinds of great techniques with these. You can even um, color items with them, like you can color your pastes and stuff. Here's another one from Alton New. It's called Strawberry. It's a cute little stamp set for just $4.29. And coming on around the table, all right, so glue presses back in stock. If you're asking yourself, what is a glue press? Well, it's kind of the hottest thing on the market right now, and they have been out of stock forever, um, and they will be out of stock for a while as well. Um, Ileana at My Sweet Petunia does not know when her next shipment will come in, um, at least not that I have heard. Maybe she does now, but, you know, a few weeks ago she did not. Um, and it is, it's a glue press. So you've got this rubber band in there. It does nothing but hold it together, okay? You it comes with a container of glue from Nuvo. It's one of my favorite adhesives. And you've got an extra bottle as well that you can fill with your own adhesive. Um, you've got two different tips that come with this, okay? So this is a thicker one for your glues that are a little bit thicker, but it's a nice little precision tip. And then I'm just lining up. There's like a little pin in there. Now, whenever you're working with us on your table, you do want to keep the cap on in between just so that tip does not clog, okay? Now, whenever you're using in the glue press, though, the beauty of that is that you've got this little silicon dot down in the bottom. So whenever I put my glue press in there and I walk away, it touches, you can't quite see, but it touches down in there and that creates a vacuum. And then that way air does not get in there and your tip does not clog. Um, and friends, this is the glue that I use. And today I cannot tell you because I, I have squirrel brain or, you know, I walk away and I forget to put my cap on because I don't have a glue press at the house. Um, and I had to clean out my tip a few times today, which is not hard at all. Um, does Nuvo have big refill bottles? So Nuvo has a bigger bottle. Um, these are... These are a two ounce bottle. They have a four ounce bottle, I believe is the other size, but they don't have a big like gallon, quart, anything like that. I know um, Art Glitter Glue does, but these guys do not yet. I foresee them probably in the future doing that, but um, they've just been having a really hard time keeping this glue in stock, period. Um, so there's no refills yet just because, again, there was a time we, we couldn't even get this glue in. So no refill, big refills yet, but I'm hoping that is something that is coming. And I may even just email them to see or put a little extra, you know, hey, somebody else wants that as well. So my sweet petunia today, we got back in the precision glue presses. They are um, $35.99. I think that's right. Um, and then we got in the refills, so you can get extra bottles as well, too. And the extra bottle comes with both the tips, the smaller tip and the larger tip. So we got plenty of those in stock. And then since I was ordering from My Sweet Petunia, who is also the manufacturer of the Misties, um, someone requested, a special requested some of the pads that go in to your Misties. She was out of those. So I got back in the pads for the regular size Misty 
and the mini Misty as well. One thing I did not get back in were the Misties because when I placed this order a bazillion years ago, I had Misties. We are out of Misties right now, but I'm sure that I will be placing a reorder soon. So if you need a regular Misty or a mini Misty, let me know and I will add it to my list um, as well. All right, so that was the like the only order we got in today. Um, but what I did today, again, like I said, I normally don't get to play. Um, so I'm super excited I got to play. Um, had a couple classes, and I do. I pick and choose which classes I feel would be a good fit for the store, things like that. So I took a class. You need a Misty Magnet, the real one. Okay, I do have some from Tonic that are bar magnets. Um put in my box a bottle of the Nouveau Glue. Okay, Leslie, do you want the two ounce bottle or the bigger four ounce bottle? Just need to know what size you want. Um, and then Starla, I don't know if you've tried that one or not from Nouveau, um, from Tonic Nouveau, but it is a bar magnet very similar to the Misty one, and I do have that one in as well. All right, um, so I had a class today with pink fresh and we got to use some brand new stuff that is not shipping yet so if you're loving these then you can um, pre-order them as well and if you pre-order the set i will make sure you get a copy of the instructions to make these cards as well too so we did two fun super super cute cards um so i'm thinking here you know, I thought I made three cards. Hmm. Maybe I didn't finish them. Okay, well, I might be showing you that tomorrow because I'm pretty sure I stamped this booger. Oh, no, I stamped it three times because I, I colored it. Never mind. Okay, just two cards. I've got my alt timers going on. Um, How much is the glue press? Those are right around 36. All right, so this one here, I used this fun, let me try and prop it up here. I did this fun little deco frame, and here is the smaller deco frame. They come in a pack just like this. Actually, I cut them all out in one swoop. You can see I've even still got them all taped together to make my great little frames. So you can do frames or just an inset on your card because there are some floating dies in there as well. So I did the Art Deco frames. Um, those are in stock now, ready to go. And then the stamp is called Best Wishes and it's really pretty. So it's got this floral. Now, if you stamp it as is, it's going to make a frame, but whenever you die cut it out, they're all individual. So it was a little deceiving whenever I went to cut it out. I thought I was going to get a frame and they all pop out individually. So you've got this really great, there you can see them individual. Um, so it's got this really great floral stamp set. Then you've got the stencil set that goes with it. All right, and then the die set as well. And the die set cuts out three of the, there's a little verbiage in there, cuts out three of them. Um, it cuts out the best wishes, sending love and just a note. So it does not cut out that straight little, hope you are well. I mean, we can all, if you want that one, we can all, you know, cut that easily on our trimmer and that saves you money for the metal die. But so my two cards I did with that one. So I stamped it and then I used the stencils to color it in. You know me, I do love my Catherine Pooler inks. So I used my Catherine Pooler inks. I think they look stunning. I stamped the stamp in the background. So you get just a little subtle effect back there. And then this one here, stamped it in the background as well. And then um, again, these are the two other flowers left over from when I stenciled and die cut it out. Did some of the fun little enamel dots that they sent along too. Just two cute little quick, easy cards. So again, these aren't available yet, but these are available for pre-order. And it's the best wishes stamp, stencil, and die set. And then I use the Art Deco frames in there as well. So that was one fun thing that I did. And then the other fun thing, I know I posted this one. The other fun thing that I did were um, 
were some projects with Doodlebug designs. So we've got this great little fun kit here. And if you buy the products, I would be more than happy to share instructions with you guys. Um, they're kind of lengthy, so it may take a little, uh, maybe two separate emails or two separate files online to download. I'm not for sure. It, there's a lot of, lot of instructions, but it's because they're detailed instructions. And what I mean is showing you exactly what sizes to cut everything. So you get different pages for that. So great instructions, great, great instructions. But so I did a fun little acetate card, my little pro tip. Not, I mean, not that I'm a crazy pro or anything, but my pro tip, if you are working with acetate, um, you can see the adhesive, okay? I'm gonna show you what I use on the back. So this one right here, that shows up probably <clears throat> the least was my Nouveau glue, and I did it in a swiggle. Had I, you know, I should have done a straight line, but you can barely see it. This is score tape, and my score tape's old, so apparently it's a little yellow, um, but that is score tape, and then this is um, express tape. So both of those you could see just a little bit, not too bad. So that was the back. But on the inside of the card, I definitely did not want to see that. So I just glued another piece of paper on the back side. So at least when they open the card, they would not see that. So a fun little card with acetate. This is just a cute, quick little easy card from the cut apart sheet. And then again, you can go check my post out. But this one here had a house underneath. And instead, we just covered it with one of the Doodle Pops. How cute is that? This one here is also from the Cut Apart sheet. It has that exact same flower underneath there, but there just happens to be a Doodle Pop that matches it. And that is just way, way cuter. Next up, this fun little page. And this is all from the, um, what, Hello There line? Now I, Hello Again, Hello Again line. Um, mainly using the um, odds and ends and which is the other one? I always forget. There's three different names. There's chit chat, odds and ends, and what's the other one called? Odds and ends, bits and pieces, and chit chat. So you can see the majority came out of the odds and ends and bits and pieces, but a little bit from the chit chat. So uh, I do love the titles in the chit chat, but just a fun little squared page. It's those fun little clusters. And then um, they didn't have this, but I thought it was really fun. I did a little interactive one here just so I could either put more photos or extra journaling or just journal on the inside. If you don't like your handwriting, you can always journal inside of there. So fun little layout there. And this one was so cute. Oh, so cute. And you could do this with any line because they're Bits and pieces are always so fun for any line. Um, so you could just make a fun little collage line with them, which is all that we did here. Really, really fun. And then, but wait, there's more. So I know our order is, I got part of it coming and part of it is in process right now, but they sent us a little tiny bit of the snow much fun so we could actually see it in person and oh so cute so this is all coming um these are the just the regular little icon stickers 8375 you can put your pre-order in online because we've still got it up for pre-order here is the this and that stickers that will come in the collection pack for doodlebug friends i normally just do collection kits especially for a winter line so cute this one here is the puffy icons. Check out those penguins. Oh, they're adorable. And the little snowman heads. This is a great little set of puppy stickers. Um, when they sent this, they did not have in the regular paper yet, but they did send us some pretty prints just so we could see kind of the colors that were gonna be in the line. So I didn't get any of the regular paper, but we did get some of the other fun things for us to check out. So I thought that was kind of cool. They sent that along too. That made me happy. And I think, whew, I think that's it. 
All right, friends. Well, that is all. Hopefully, so tonight, I'm starting at six, so I'm going to have to watch it on the replay. Um, There was a, what the world is going on there? There we go. Um, There was a really cute 12 layout class that Simple Stories is doing with their new, um, like, daily line, which was like a a month's, their, um, I don't remember what it was called, not noteworthy. I don't know. They've got a few different lines coming up that haven't shipped yet, so it's another new one. But basically, there's a paper for every single month. And they've done that before. Um, But they did a really cute 12 layout class with that line. I thought, oh, that might be really cool to do some kits with as well. So that is what I'm going to be working on tonight. I don't know if I'll get all 12 pages done. um, Because right now, Caden is home. And he's got some friends from college that came to visit. So I have six 19-year-old boys in my house right now, actually in BJ's house. Sorry, BJ. Um, Waiting for me to get home and, of course, cook for them, I am sure. Um, But they've been really good. They have not. They've been here for a few days. Um, they They have made messes, but they have cleaned them up. So they are more well behaved than my regular children are. I am thinking that maybe I will trade some of these boys for my regular children because shoes get picked up. There's no socks laying around, no dirty dishes whenever I wake up in the morning. Um, Again, there's six boys and only, or is there five boys? There's five boys because, okay, yeah, Um, five boys. And there was one soda can left out overnight, which I call that a win, Um, totally a win. Um, They jumped in the hot tub. All the towels and wet clothes were put kind of in the, we have like a utility tub in the mudroom. Everything was put in there or hung up in a bathroom. They were not left laying on a floor somewhere random. So, um, you know, if if you feel like your child um, is a total slob and they're in that in-between stage, just know that I think they act better at other people's houses. Because I can guarantee some of these boys probably do not act like that at home. And, you know, if their their moms don't even know who I am, because, again, these are college kids. But um, I, if they ever happen upon this live, just know that your your boys are being very, very good. Minimal cussing as well, too, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, yeah. So I did have to, you know, yeah, I didn't have to threaten them too much or anything. I did give them some rules and things like that, um, but not too bad. So anyway, I I better jump off of here. So that way I can get home and um, feed them. Otherwise, you know, my snack cabinet is going to be gone whenever I get there because um, that's what boys do. It was so funny, though. Um, You know, BJ doesn't have kids, but he's been around mine for years. But this is a lot of boys in the house. So this is the most he's ever had. And they all came downstairs, you know, like at one in the afternoon to eat breakfast. And I got out, you know, a half gallon of milk that I had just picked up. And we had two of the huge, like, mega family size boxes of cereal. And they ate one completely gone. And he was just like, whoa, did they go through a whole box of cereal? Yes. Yes, they did. And they will be hungry again in a few hours. So it was it was hilarious. Um, and, like, we made tacos for them. And I was putting, like, a can of refried beans and the taco meat. And he's like, what are you doing? Because we don't normally do that. I'm like, oh, this is how you stretch the meat. He's like, what? I was like, oh, with teenage boys, you've, you've got to put extra things in there to stretch the meat because all they're going to eat is the meat. And then they totally, I made a huge thing of rice. They miss the rice. I'm like, dang, on it. That was their filler as well. But, but yes. So anyway, friends, um, I'm looking to see if I missed anything. No, I did not. Coming up to the front of the store and I will show you. Do, do, do. There's all our glue presses going out for you guys tomorrow. Um, got a little pile for people that are local to pick them up. And I, like I said, I've got a couple more um, that just came in towards the evening. So I've got to get those packed up and shipped out as well. But glue presses, yay. And I'll tell you what, I am taking one home this time because after, again, I've told you about my, my poor little arthritis thumb, my arthritic thumb here. And, you know, working on those classes today, and I use that Precision um, Nuvo, so it is a little harder to squeeze because it's such a nice fine line, and it's so easy with those glue presses. So I am taking one for me. 
All right, everybody. Well, until next time, I am Hannah at the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking some new fun stuff out and some new samples that I've got for you guys with stuff that's coming. And then I will see you guys later. Oh, you can always shop online, www.thedoodlebuginc.com. Thank you so much. Have a great evening. Bye.